That's a pretty big mission, spreading love and peace around the world, but he's the man to do it. Uh, now, would you pass your driving test if you had to take it again? Two very nervous-looking women sitting here to my left. If you're not sure, then you're not alone. A recent study revealed that over three million motorists didn't think their skills would come up to scratch. Interestingly, more men were confident of passing the driving test than women. Hey, there's a surprise. Uh, we sent Louise Hullen to find out how she'd get on. Recent figures show that more than 37 million people in Britain hold a full driving licence. That's half the UK population qualified to jump in the driving seat and go for a spin. So with that kind of pass rate, we must be a nation of careful, competent drivers. Or not. Put the phone down. Shut up. Oh, God, oh, my God. Woo! You know you're going slow when you're overtaken by a cyclist. <laughs> Stay on the left, stay on the left, stay on the left. Right, just remember the brake. As long as I can put my foot on the brake, no one gets killed. Well, clearly, some of us are a little bit more rusty than others when it comes to our performance behind the wheel. But with the survey from the AA discovering that more than one in ten, that's a whopping three million drivers, were convinced that they would fail their test if they had to take it again, I began to wonder, just how confident are we in the driving seat? So if you had to retake your driving test, do you think you would pass? I think I would struggle to pass my driving test today. Do you think you're a good driver? Yeah, me, I'm, yeah. Well, what you call a bad good driver. If you had to resit, do you think you'd pass? Um, first attempt without revising or thinking about it, probably not. Yeah, I pass it, but I already passed uh, in a one time, single go. All right, it's Mr. Show Off. Do you think you're a good driver in uh, essentially, though? I'm a man. Every man thinks they're a good driver. Well, a mixed bag of reactions there, but I wonder how I'd fare. So it's time to take one for the team and retake my driving test. I'm sure it'll be a piece of cake. Hello, Louise. How are you? Hello, I'm all right. So tell me, have you got your licence with you? Can you read the number plate on the blue car? L J. Well, show me how you would check the oil. Can I ring my dad? That might be oil. I wouldn't put oil in there. That's your brake fluid. Well, it's liquid, isn't it? Same well, thing. Well, that's true, but you have no brakes. Let's continue with the test. Wish me luck. doing the turn in the road. Some others call it a three-point turn. The key things to remember about this manoeuvre is it doesn't have to be done in three moves. If it's a very narrow road, you can do it in more. We're next going to do the reverse around the corner. The key thing to remember is if you find that there's an error with the manoeuvre itself, don't worry. You can pull forwards and then reverse back again. Okay, but thank you. <laughs> The final manoeuvre that we're going to do is the parallel park. The key things to remember is try not to make the manoeuvre too severe. You have got two car lengths in order to actually perform the manoeuvre, so you may as well make use of that space. I can't do it! Oh, you can, you can. Well, that was definitely a lot harder than I remember. And the proof of my driving misdemeanours is here. Well, that was a shocker, wasn't it? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> My Lord, Louise, don't offer me a lift home, bless you. Thank you very much.